and across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears black, trimmed in purple and gold. His official weight, 253.8 pounds. As a bare knuckle fighter, he is undefeated in the squared circle at 3-0. Here is the defending BKFC World Heavyweight Champion and Police Gazette American Bare Knuckle Heavyweight Champion from the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, AJ fighting blocking with the right hand just like you said if, you can, if Chase can throw a jab and come back with a left hook right, right away he's going to land it clean it's going to be a tough punch to stop set from Sherman Adams in our fighter meeting talked about Sherman continually switching stances and also resetting Adams said I need to take advantage in those gaps. And he did it right there. As soon as he switched, he hit him with a good jab. You see that? Switch of stances on cue for Chase Sherman. Look at the duck under the level change from Adams. Switch of stances again for Chase Sherman. Back to Orthodox. Got a right hand, right hand, right back from Sherman. This doesn't appear the least bit flustered. Slow start to this title fight. Snap jab, but not getting through for Sherman. That jab misses. Right hand lands. Very methodical thus far for the champion Arnold A.J. Adams. Sherman trying to push the pace. Misses with that right hand. Work on the face of Adams. And Adams the end of round one. I thought... I thought Sherman did a very good job in that round. Led a lot of good punches, more than I've ever seen landed against AJ, I believe. And they did do what he talked about in, in between the, the right hand and left hand and stance. He was able to counter, land a good punch right there, but I think he needs to be a little more active. You can only have one in here. One in, one out. A good jab led by the champ right there. Very slight cut. See the left brow of Chase Sherman. Doesn't appear to be bleeding bad. Doesn't seem like something they should worry about too much. And it's it caught again right there. And it cuts over into the ball. Does not seem the least bit bothered. Heading into round number two of this our co-main event. All right, pull the line. First up to scratch. Make a look. Atlanta calls knuckle up. Round two underway. See the elusiveness of Adams. Every time you hit him with a good punch, he rolls with it so well. You can't tell if he's hurt or not. Not often you see that fluidity from a fighter over 250 pounds. And that walk-down pressure from Sherman. He's nodding at his opponent. This is with the rear uppercut. Both simultaneous jabs. <laughs> See the open right palm of Adams trying to parry and catch punches to the entry. Drops the shoulder to the inside. Quick break from Dan Bergliata. One thing I, look, I think that Chase has done a lot better this fight than last one. He's exploded more. And when he comes in with the jab, there's a lot more momentum behind, a lot more explosive. Two misses from Sherman. Duck under the elusiveness again from Adams. Adams is hard to hit, but there's also not a lot of offense thus far from the champ. Exactly, so I'd like to see what the judges are, are the, how they go in this. Is it the, the punches he's landing, or is it just the overwhelming volume thrown by Chase Sherman right now? So jab, 45 seconds remaining round two. I mean, I'm a firm believer you don't get you don't get points for not getting hit, for, jab, for, for, for ducking, for being elusive. That's great, but you're not winning by doing that. Kind of like defending submission successfully in MMA. Yeah. No credit from the judges. As Big John McCarthy says, congratulations, you get to stay in the fight. Exactly. Oh, 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 oh. his most significant strike in this fight. Definitely took Sherman off his striking line. Hey, go strike, go strike. Wait, Definitely the best punch of the fight for either guy. Final seconds, round number two.
Well, Adam didn't land as many punches, but the ones he did were pretty, pretty effective right there. He landed clean punches right there, and, and, and you can tell it had an effect. Uh -huh. no, no, no. No, we gotta be smart. Don't let him muscle you against the ropes like that, okay? Don't muscle there's a couple good punches right there on the champ. Things you very rarely see. Oh, the big left hand. Very impressive that he was not knocked down by that punch. Another look at that big left hand. See that slight cut? Just below the left eyebrow on the face of Chase Sherman. That opened in round number one. Didn't seem to get any worse. Right. Right. Buckle up. Really big shot closing sequences of round number two for Arnold A.J. Adams. His first fight as a champion indeed enters as the double champion. Chase Sherman right back to work on the jab. And misses to the inside. Short right and another right hand. And Sherman switching stances. Then right back to it. Right to left, right back to orthodox. Good body work in the left hand. He's walking through it. I would like to see Chase, when he comes through with that jab, to keep coming forward, keep pressing the axe right now. He's not going to win a jabbing match against AJ. Naked right without the jab, then the left, counter right from Sherman. 105 remaining round three. Fighters being very tactical, smile on the face of Adams, perhaps trying to bait Sherman in. The separation, right back to the center of the ring. Adams now with his jab. Landing from Sherman. Can you see the open palm, Chris? Landing a little harder. Sherman misses with the right cross. Loving left on the inside. Adams trying to call time. Saying that his fingers in his mouth, I believe. Ruin the crowd, and now Mark Leonard calls time. You can't call time, of course, as a fighter. <laughs> but the referee can call time. Oh, to be unintentional. Fingers in the mouth by Sherman. Better push it out from Sherman to the high block. Adams throwing back. Sherman with the right hand. That is the end of round three. And that exactly is how he needs to do that. When he starts pushing the pace, he comes forward behind that jab and he can push into Adams and land a lot of punches right there. Don't stay outside and out jab him. That's not going to work for him. Come on, come on. Come on. Definitely interested to see how the judges are scoring this. Is it the overwhelming punches that are being thrown by Chase Sherman, or is it the precision and the, the harder punches that are being landed by AJ Adams? Let's go to the replay right here. Looks like guys are in the mix right here. Yep, looks like he puts his fingers right in A.J. Adams' mouth, and he didn't like that. Hey, seconds out, gentlemen, seconds out. Clearly no ill intent from Sherman. Good bit of refereeing from Mergliata. Quick timeout, time in. And both fighters up to scratch as round number four begins. Off the jab from Adams. Touch to the inside. The underhook with the smart duck under from Adams to get the separation. Sporting touch of hands there. No animosity between these two fighters, all respect. But both feeling very confident that they would have a relatively easy night. It's not been easy for either man thus far. 125 remaining round four. 
Right hand doesn't get through. Lands on the shoulder. Is thrown by Sherman. That left hand got through from Adams. Go oh, left, left hand from there. Sherman. That's what I was talking about earlier. If, if Adams is keeping that right hand too close to his face, the left hook lands every time. He's flicking the jab. Right to the body, right to the head from Sherman. That was a really smart sequence. Then the left jab from Adams once more. The duck under from Adams. Very clever on the duck under. Well, Sherman is still hitting him when again. Sherman is still landing good punches when he's doing that. Chris Adams continuing to stick out that jab in the right hand. I think Chase Sherman is really starting to adjust to the movement of AJ Adams as he rolls, as he ducks his head down. It's hard to put your, put your hands on that sometimes, but he's doing a better job right now of landing little punches in there as he's rolling. Circles out. Final seconds, round number four of this our co main event of the evening. Two titles on the line the champion Arnold AJ Adams versus UFC veteran Chase Sherman. And to the fifth and final round we go. I think that right there at the end of the round is when Chase Sherman is looking the best. When he's able to put forth many punches right there, pushing AJ Adams straight back. If you let him stay in the middle, duck his head, roll with the punch, and it's going to be very difficult to beat. One way to go with the baseball cap you saw in the corner of the champion Arnold AJ Adams. Going toward veteran Lloyd Carter. Boy Carter, the NFL cap. Working on two cuts right now with Chase. They don't seem to be bothering him at all, though. He seems very determined. He's uh, focused right now. He knows exactly what he has to do to win this fight. Maximum of two minutes remains in this, our co-main event. Methodical start for both men. Good right hand from Sherman. Back to the line. Very strong sequence. Backs up. Oh, 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 oh. Adam doesn't look like he wants to get up. Seven. But I think he's going to. Yep. On May 8. Walks towards Berkeley oh, Auto. We oh, continue. We'll see how hard Chase Sherman now goes for the finish. The first time in this his fourth fight that Adams has been down. Right to the body. He's doing a great job walking the body right now. That knockdown is massive for Sherman. You see the face from Chase Sherman. And AJ has to understand the importance right now. He's got to come forward. He's out of his comfort zone. He doesn't like to come forward like that. He likes to be slick, but he has to do it right now because he might be losing this fight. Sherman again coming forward, taking Adams off his striking line. <laughs> trying to get cute there. He's got to be careful. I believe he was trying to be the matador. I think he was marking a cape for the oncoming ball. Adams still sticking out the jab. You see the shoulder roll on the level change. 30 seconds remaining. Again with the body. Right hand left. That right hand lands from Chase Sherman on the entry. Heavy pressure from Sherman on the half plus right, right, match. Right, right, right. Separation from Urgliano. Down the stretch we go. He says right here in the middle. That's where he wants to end the fight. Sherman pointing into the center circle. Hey! And Adams looks very dejected, Chris, coming back to his corner. Absolutely. He had a shake of his head. He kind of didn't look like he was very... He looked like he wanted to put his arms up, but then he said, I'm not even going to do it. Drop in round number five.
It's a real look of dejection on the face of Adams. Hey. Again, at stake, two titles, the BKFC World Heavyweight Strap and the Police Gazette American Heavyweight Strap. Held by Arnold A.J. Adams as he entered the BKFC ring. Very competitive over the full five rounds, but early on it was Sherman, just as he said he would do, unloading with the volume. Yeah, that he sure did. He overwhelmed him with punches right there. He didn't land the harder punch at the beginning. Look here in round two. He takes a couple of big shots right here. Oh, very impressive. He was able to stand up after that. I mean, especially for a heavyweight fight, there's just a lot of punches being thrown in here. Look at the body work being done right now. Right in the eye. It's just beautiful placement by Chase Sherman right there. And again, the bare knuckle fight that goes the full five rounds. One knockdown is massive on the judges' scorecards. For sure. I noticed that right there, he did punch Chase Sherman. He punched him right in the eye. That was what he said he was going to try and target, and it worked. Paid dividends, got the knockdown. Sherman very strong. His judges' scorecards, signed by the Mississippi Commission, will be very telling. Here's Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled five championship rounds, here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. Judges one and two score the fight 49-45. And our third judge sees the fight 49-46 to the winner by unanimous decision. And